it's Zeno, Warthog Princess, and welcome to another Jujube haul. This is actually several different orders that I kind of just waited until everything got here and we'll do it all together. Um, I don't have my fancy outfit on, I'm just doing some work around the house and so I just wore comfy clothes because why not? Uh, and it's a little chilly today, it's a whopping 55 degrees at 10 o'clock this morning, so anyway. Yeah, I love winter in Tucson, clear blue sunny skies, yeah. Um, so the first item I got is a B-set. Y'all know I'm into pouches and I've gone a little overboard, but I like to have a variety. Like maybe um, one day I'm carrying a big bag and I just need like three small pouches. Well, I can use three small set pieces, but since each set only comes with one, I gotta have at least three sets. So anyways, I got different colors to mix and match with different bags. So there you go. This is a vegan leather. This is the plum color. And I got this one on Facebook Marketplace. It's actually the Jujubee Buy, Sell, Trade group. I got three set pieces, three sets of B sets. <laughs> um, this is the first. So anyways, this one is that vegan leather. And the reason I got it is because, well, one, it's plum, so it's kind of a purple family. But really, I got it to go with my forever backpack that I just got in, and that's in olive. So I wanted this in olive because that makes perfect sense. But I do think the plum will coordinate very nicely with that and also with other bags. So I took a, I took a leap and I, I grabbed this. It has rose gold fittings on it. Um, and it's pretty much the same as all the other B sets. The, the large and the medium piece have um, loops on the end that you can make it into a little crossbody bag, which, I mean, that's a great neutral color. Comes with the long strap and a short strap. Um, and in this leather version, the long strap is, at least in this case, not adjustable. So there you go. And then you got your medium and your small set pieces. So just like always, the large and the medium set piece has the jujube plate. In this case, it's inlaid. Um, here, I can take this off. It's like inlaid and it's very classy actually. Same as on the backpack, I just think that's a really nice touch. And then the small set piece actually doesn't have a tag at all in this case. Um, obviously I need to take that off. Now the inside of these, they don't have any internal organization but it's a very light gray color just like that. And I kind of think it's the same on all of the Ever Collection perhaps because you'll see this again shortly. Uh, I got something else. But it's not just plain gray actually, it has like a um, sort of like little symbols in it. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know what it is. I mean, it's like squared off geometric things. But you can kind of see it there. So a very subtle sort of pattern to it. But let me put this away. I'll just put this back on for now because why not protect that rose gold prettiness. And I won't take the tag off until I use this for the first time, but then it does store nicely. Just put the tag inside and zip it to that side so the tags aren't gumming up everything else. Enough about that. Then um, I got two other B sets, as I mentioned, and these also came from, these are three different sellers on that um, marketplace. Um, and if you're concerned about that like me, because I refuse to give my bank money uh, info to Facebook, but we paid through PayPal. And so depending on your seller, they may be willing to do that as well. There's lots of options and it never hurts to ask um, that, but they have a ton of stuff on there. But I'm into blacks and whites. So, um, with Jujube, why not can continue that trend? And then I can just mix and max, mix and match all the black and whites, which I like to, to do that. So this one is in Cleopatra, and this one is Night Stars, like Knight, like a King Arthur Knight, K-N-I-G-H-T. So both of them have gold fittings. This one's black with white, the other one's white with black, so I think that's a nice contrast. The interior of this one is like a bronze sort of color or champagne, I don't know what they call it. But they're all that same wipeable, washable, Teflon treated, these are the regular pouches. And this one is a lighter color. It's actually like a gold interior and it has something in, like a pattern in it. I don't know what you would call it. It looks like sort of a regal swirls. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it at all. It's very, very subtle. Yeah, yeah, you're seeing this gold, I think. Um, but anyway, it has a slight, slight, slight hint of a pattern in there. And there you go. So two set pieces. Again, those are all three, three pouch sets. There you go. Now, shifting gears. I was on Amazon 
And now that I have two of the Be Rich wallets, I think it was the Be Rich, yeah? Yes, Be Rich. <laughs> had to check because the Be Spendy is the zip round. I don't have any of those. But anyway, this is my third. I, I did like it very much. I used it with my Queen of the Nile Be Classy purse. Loved it. It holds a ton. Like it seems kind of thin and trim, and it is, honestly, but it holds so much. And I didn't even fill it up, which is great. Um, so anyways, this is the Sea Punk pattern. This is a Tokidoki. And of course, as you know, I'm into Tokidoki now, which is super funny and fun. Um, but, and, and the pattern is just really colorful. So it's a navy background with this bright, colorful, you got scuba and snorkel, you got critters, you got ropes. Oh look, there's a, a rope heart. We just saw that in the last video on the Vera Bradley. That's funny. Uh, interesting how they think alike sometimes from totally different avenues. Um, but then you got your unicorns, you got all your characters, you got mermaids, and um, there's Donatella, you know, you, it's just fun. It's very nautical, very fun. Yeah. And then when you open it up, it's a little busy because it's patterned and it's a little chopped up in places. But first, you know, you have your interior, you can see that pocket is pretty much a big chunk of fabric. And then if you look at this other flap, let me put it in this way so it's not as busy. So you get a nice piece of some more things. Um, and if you open that up, it actually is one continuous piece, so you get a big chunk of it. But again, when you go to the inside, it's a trifold type wallet. It looks very busy. I think it's far less busy when you put your cards and things in there. Um, but just for reference, it has six card slots here. So three here, three here, and a big gusseted pocket behind. So the wallet opens like this, and that was my cash drawer. It's in the perfect place for me. That's where I like it. There's one, two, three, four, five, six more card slots down the middle, and the bottom one is a clear ID, and it does have that um, window assist, you know, so you can push your card out. And then on the far side, it's just like the first flap. It has three and three and a big pocket behind. This pocket is not gusseted like the main one is over here. Um, and then the middle doesn't have any other pockets behind it. But... It's a great wallet. All of these pockets can all be double, triple stuffed. I mean, it's amazing, this wallet, how much it can hold, and I just love it. I like that it's a slicky material. It's totally wipeable. It's waterproof. So, you know, COVID times, I can keep it really clean and disinfected. There you go. Um, Jujube stuff can go in the washer. I don't know that the wallets can because they have something inside that makes them more rigid, so I wouldn't want to chance that, but I certainly would spot clean it and sanitize it that way. It does have this other zipper pocket on the back. It zips around the corner, and so it opens up pretty nicely, so it's gusseted on both sides, and you can see that fun interior stripes. It's very busy as well, but but very fun. So now I have a couple items in Sea Punk to go with my Toki Doki collection, and there you go. And I'm going to put this tag in the pocket here because... Why not? Okay. The other item I got from Amazon is my very first Super B. And the Super B is a giant tote, but it's it's pretty minimal as far as like, look, it's this really big tote, but it's it's very flimsy. And, and if you want to store it or carry it on a trip or something, I mean, it's essentially a packable. It doesn't have a zip around pouch or anything, but I mean, look at that. I, I mean, that's huge. I love that. There's that. Now me, I'm gonna store them flat probably. Um, yeah, let me take this little sticky off I just found by accident. It's kind of cool. Okay, so this is Jujube Sanrio, which is Hello Kitty, obviously. This is the stripes and dots, or dots and stripes, I think it's called. What does it say? Dots and stripes, yeah, Hello Kitty dots and stripes. Last night I grew up in California, Northern California. We had a lot of Hello Kitty all around. Probably a lot of you, no matter your age, have grown up with it too because it's been around forever. But it's just sort of classic and iconic. And this, you know, I've been into this dot kick lately. And so black and white dots with the black and white stripes and just basic classic Hello Kitty. I love it. So I did get this. I don't really have anything else in this pattern, but I do have some black and white duchess, so I think it'll match fine. But this is pretty simple. It has a, obviously multi-layered, it has just a little bit of padding to it on the straps all the way down. There's no no-slip grip or anything like that. Um, but yeah, so, okay, tag aside, we don't need the tag. On the front, you have three pockets. 
they're all just big slips. So one, two, and one in the middle. Now, the two on the outside are big slips, and they're big. I mean, they go all the way down, so I think you could probably put a wine bottle in there, or certainly a water bottle, or your big wallet. Here, well, we have a wallet right here, let's check. Perfect, fits nice down in there. And then right here in the middle, this one is a zipper pocket, actually. It's a little tough to find that little skinny little zipper tab, but when you find it, you open that up, that is actually a smaller pocket. It only goes down to here, but I believe that's supposed to be the phone. Look okay, at these pants are great. <laughs> My phone right here. Yeah, so your phone fits right in there if you want. And my phone is pretty tall, so it, it really barely, barely zips over the top of my phone. And I probably wouldn't zip it. I would just leave it in there loose so I can grab it quickly. But there you go. So there's that pocket. You could, let's see how much the wallet sticks out. Uh, never mind, it's too wide. It doesn't fit in there. But yeah, so you have that middle pocket. And then on the back, you have two big slip pockets, and again, you can fit big things in there. Um, I'm pretty sure. Here's the large set piece, it's actually the whole set, and that fits very easily, very nicely in there, and you can see at the top, there's a good inch or more above it, so it's not even obvious it's there. Um, oh, <laughs> so what happens when you do new things, and you know, I did test drive it yesterday, but it's a one big pocket, not two pockets. <laughs> it has a snap closure. Sorry. <laughs> so anyways, it's a big pocket. Um, yeah, so you could use that for, like, put your laptop or your tablet in a sleeve and then put that in here so it's protected and padded. But, you know, anyways, <laughs> don't mind me. Sometimes I surprise myself. All right, but inside, first of all, it does have a zipper closure on the top. It has this adorable little Hello Kitty zipper pull. On the front it says Jujube for Hello Kitty and it has a little bling on the ribbon and on the back it's just black but really easy grab nice big and it pulls closed like any zipper and it has the tabbed closure so you get that width at the top of the bag so you don't have to come to a point and lose space and when you're not using the zipper you can just let it tuck itself inside and just hang loose right there okay other inside, I mean, first of all, look at this cute pattern inside on the red. It's all the bows, and then you have these little embroidered, it looks like apples. And there's one privacy pocket. It's about the middle third of the bag. So it goes just below the apples across and up. Yeah. And on the opposite side, you've got two elastic mesh pockets. I'm sorry, not elastic, just mesh. Two of them right there, and they go all the way to the bottom of the bag. And you also have, on the side, you have this key clip. You can use it to clip whatever you want, but there you go. Okay. Now, this does not come with a messenger strap, but it does have these two loops, which you could, you know, like on Amazon, you can buy those loops that have the quick release. You could put your own strap on here. Um, just put those loops. You could put the loop on and clip your keys or your chapstick or your... You know, put, a, put one of those loops that just has that quick release and then hook a mask on there so you always have that readily available. Whatever, you can do so many things. Uh, I've got tons of love coin purses or Vera zip IDs, things that would clip on there very nicely. Whatever, bag charms, so many things. Um, or if you put a loop on each end, you could attach your own messenger strap um, on there and make it a sort of crossbody. But it's, it's pretty big, so however you want to do it. Now the last thing to look at on this bag is just the base of it. So it doesn't have anything special about it. There's no feet on it. This is definitely a slouchy bag. But what it does show you is the amount of space that this little bag packs a punch. A little bag, it's a big bag. <laughs> yeah, I'm all over the place today. Okay, um, but yeah, so Hello Kitty, Sanrio. Um, oh, one other thing I didn't show as I just discovered this little metallic star down here, it says nothing. It just has a, a Hello Kitty face on it and then a little bling in the corner there. So fun little piece. And it had this little protector on there. All right, next up, because I anticipated I would like that and I do, and I'm really glad. Um, so now shifting gears to jujube.com. I bought a bunch of stuff. 
they had the World of Warcraft Legends of Azeroth, and it was on sale. It was such a great price. I actually ended up buying this one first before the Amazon one, and I kind of was hoping it would get here super fast, which is pipe dreams and COVID shipping times, but I kind of hoped it would because then I wouldn't waste money on something if I didn't like it, but I figured it's Hello Kitty. If I didn't like it, it'll be a perfect gift for one of my nieces or nephews and the baby. It'll be fine. But Legends of Azeroth, I, I'm not really into World of Warcraft, but I am into colorful, fun prints. And um, I do have the set piece, and I did also order, well, at least it's in my, in my shopping cart now, a little purse backpack to go with it. We shall see. But right now I just have this in the set, so that's fine. But this is the exact same thing. It's a Super B, and it has the same features that we just saw on the Hello Kitty. Um, but this one has an orange interior, and you can see like the World of Warcraft um, symbol, and then it says cute but deadly, which I guess is a thing. Um, and then it has this little like fire light bulb looking thing. It does come with a sticker on it of one of the characters. I think I have that same one on a different bag. Super B. Yeah, smart bags for smart people. So if you're not familiar, Machine washable, air dry, tons of smart pockets to get organized, light colored linings to see what's inside, Teflon fabric protector helps repel stains, and metal hardware strong and sturdy. And I will tell you, just like love, the zippers and everything are very smooth and slick and, and reliable. It works great. So that is that one. And again, anticipating I would like it, I went with my straight up Duchess and Navy. So this is the Navy and white polka dots. Um, same exact style, except the interior of this one is the silver metallic looking interior, which I really, really like. I'm a silver girl, so for sure that is my preference there. As far as metallics go, anyways. So, now that we're talking about Duchess Navy, um, recently I tried the Mini B as a purse backpack. So... I watched some YouTube videos from other people and I did a lot of searching online and I saw the midi backpack, which as a backpack backpack was too small for my taste. I want, if I'm going to buy a backpack, I want a big backpack. So I like the Zealous and the BRB, that kind of thing. There are other bags in between like the B pack and some other between that and this, and this is a little bigger than the mini B, but because it's a little bigger and it's a different configuration, this is my new favorite GGB purse backpack for what that's worth. And I haven't even used it yet. I mean, I just got it and I'm like, yep, yep, this is what I wanted. So here it goes. Um, it does have the metallic plate. This is Duchess, so their fittings are silver. Again, that's my, my thing. It has this front pocket, which has its own gusset. Um, it's like two fingers thick, so definitely lots of room there. And so, and, but it's un, unorganized, in, if you will. So, but your wallet, can fit down in there really easily. It's a perfect fit, closes. It is a hooded piece too. So the large set piece wouldn't fit in there, but well, actually, maybe if you squished it. Let's see if the medium one would fit. Medium set piece. Yeah, I mean, if you had it fully lengthwise packed, it, it has to squish just a little bit lengthwise. But certainly the small set pieces in multiples could fit in there very, very easily. So that's one thing. Let's keep those out because I'm sure we'll do some other things. It has pockets on the sides, which are really nice cargo pockets. They have these little elastic pieces. So there is a little expansion capability. Plenty big for all of my regular water bottles, no problem. It has a top carriage handle. These are seat belts, nylon type straps and the same with the backpack straps, but the adjustability is significant. They don't have a loose end, so they have a finite adjustability, but they're not gonna come off of you, they're not gonna work themselves out, um, they're very good. But look at how generous this backpack sizing is. I mean, it's got a lot of extra space, and that's why I like it, I would wear it all the way to end just like that, um, but super comfy. I mean, it's not padded or anything, but honestly, I think it's great. Double zipper to the main pouch. And inside, again, you have that really light metallic silver interior, which is great. The front has no organization. On the back, though, you have, oh, I'm tickling my nose. Um, you have the zipper privacy pocket, and this goes down, let's see, um, about, about to here, where my finger is, roughly. 
Then you have two sets of pockets. You have one big mesh, uh, or not mesh, it's just an elastic pocket. So maybe you want to put your iPad there or your changing pad if you're taking a baby along or picnic pad, whatever you call it. And then on the front of that pouch below it, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, right below it you have two more elastic pockets down there, out of pockets. And that's it. It's pretty simple. But size-wise, look at what this gives you. So it's a much bigger capacity overall with dog hair. <laughs> but anyways, I really, really like it, and I'm really excited to use it. I might, I might make this my next bag. I don't know. We shall see. But in that same style, the midi backpack, I got the Queen of the Nile because black and white. So as you can see, the Cleopatra matches but not matches, so coordinates, if you will, and then you have your black and whites. I just think they're fun to mix and match. I do also have the Be Quick and the Be Set in this pattern, among other accessories. I got a lot in the Queen of the Nile. Um, but the interior of this one is also silver metallic. But this is the second release of Queen of the Nile. So it has gold fittings on the outside, the first release of this pattern on the outside came with like a gold interior or whatever, the darker color. I think it's golder than, anyway. So I do have a mix of interiors on my Queen of the Nile and I'm totally okay with that. But it's just worth noting that it did come out twice and the interiors are different. So if you're buying on third party sites and you want one or the other, that is a question worth asking if it's not showing in the picture. Um, okay, so Jujube has a pretty decent rewards program for points for purchases, etc. And then you can use the points for discounts, car, card, coupon, whatever. Or you can get like members only rewards kind of a thing. Yeah. One of the things you can get is like 10,000 points. You can get a midi backpack, which is the one I just showed in the new uh, Tweety Bird or Tweeting Pretty, I think it's called. I'm not into yellow, so yellow and gray is not my first choice. Plus I'd rather take the discount on other things. Yeah. But, but I did spend 500 points to get this pretty keychain bag charm thing. Star Dangle it's called. And it's, um, I think it's the 15th anniversary. I could be making that up, but it just is a, a nice rose gold clippy star. So you can put it on a bag. You can put it on a keychain. You can, hang it in your house, whatever you want to do. But it's really pretty and it ha it's hefty, you know, like I'm sure it's just coated with rose gold. It's not real gold or anything, but it's pretty, it's fun. So I will definitely put that to good use. I'll hang it up with all my other bag charms in the closet and it'll take its turn, but there you go. So moving right along, there's this other backpack. Um, it's like a knapsack. Um, Vera calls them back sack, I think. But anyways, I've seen a lot of different names. Unfortunately, my mistake, I I don't remember what it was called, but you can't miss it if you go to Jujube's website. This one is in Harry Potter Hogwarts Essentials. It's definitely a Gryffindor colors, which is totally my colors anyways. And I do have some items in this pattern. But I will say, okay, this is a robust material. This is not the slicky slicky like this that sort of thin and light this is a more robust feeling material it's not the same so this is kind of like a Vera Bradley lighten up but like a robust lighten up it's not lined so you know I mean it's not but it's very wipeable I think inside I don't know if this particular fabric is still waterproof or Teflon tree I don't know I'll do my own little test to figure that out. But it's, it's like a double drawstring knapsack, just like any you've seen before. Now it's very stiff because it's new. Obviously that will loosen up over time. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really nifty. So it's bigger than I thought, first of all, which is cool. It has a really nice zipper pull on the back. It has the glasses with the lightning bolt. And on the front, Harry Potter and Jujube. But it's a nice big zipper pull, smooth zipper. And a big pocket. It goes all the way along the seams and down to the bottom. Good pocket. These side pockets have a mesh elastic side part, but they actually go all the way to like the middle. So this pocket is bigger. It's deceptively large. 
and would easily accommodate water bottle on both sides. So you could carry like a snack tower and a water bottle and that could be your quick grab and go hiking backpack or something, whatever. Uh, yeah, so there's that and uh, put your phone in the middle and you're all set. Put an uh, extra sweatshirt or layering stuff here. Okay, you're good. And these are nice robust ropes. So I hesitated and hesitated and hesitated on buying one of these because I have so many of this style already from cheap, cheap freebies to really nice ones from Vera or elsewhere. Um, but I just thought it would be fun, like a Harry Potter thing. And not knowing the size of it, I actually thought it was slightly smaller. But I thought, you know, it could be a little drawstring organizing bag inside of my backpack, for example, in this pattern. Yeah, I don't think that anymore because it's more robust, it's stiffer, and it would still work for that, but maybe not the best way to use it. So anyways, happy though, happy to have it. And then I got the same pattern, um, and this is actually the same material. So interesting, because my B set is in the, the regular material, but this is the petite backpack, and it is just adorable. I have some of the like mini BFF, mini Helix, mini BRBs. So those are all great little like sidekick bags. Like you can use them as a belt bag or a crossbody shoulder. You can put them on your little kid as a full size bag for a little toddler. Well, it's so versatile. I just love them. But this I got as like a cute little mini essential backpack purse. I thought it would be fun. I did not know, and I was a little bit skeptical if this would fit me. One, because I'm adult. Two, because I'm a big girl. <laughs> but yeah, it does. And it also would fit a toddler, which is just amazing. I love that versatility with the bags. So great. Uh, but this one has an embroidered Harry Potter tag on it. It has the same zipper pull as the other. And nice smooth zipper. It's a very simple bag. So you got your fabric back, but then it is lined on the front. And that is the same lining as the B set that I have. And that is the regular lining material as well. So it's interesting. But so there's that pocket. And then the main pocket has the same zipper pull, single zipper. Inside is fully lined. And no organization, actually, I love it because I'll just put a couple pouches and a wallet in my phone and good to go. But look, it has quite a little bit, a little bit of space for an itty bitty backpack. Um, even that front pocket, you can see the gusset there. I mean, it has its own space. So let's see, like the wallet easily fits vertically in there. It would not fit horizontally very well. Oh, no, I lied. Oh my gosh. It fits perfectly laying down. Oh gosh. It's bigger than you think. Yeah, and that's not even stretching. So here's a large set piece. Let's see if that fits. Um, yeah, not, not quite. Vertically though, the large set piece easily does fit within, within the confines of the bag. Um, so the only one that would fit in the front is the small set piece. Let's see if the wallet will fit in there. I'm curious. Now I should have tried this stuff out before. Who'd have thunk? Um, yeah, that's a no. Like, no, that's not even close. <laughs> yeah, and I would not use it with this bag. It does have a top carry tone, but you could even like clip that on if you wanted extra decoration. It doesn't match. Doesn't match the fittings, but it does match the bag because this like lighter color does really well with the rose gold. But again, that's not really, I wouldn't do that. I'd go with the Harry Potter charm personally because I'm matchy matchy like that, but yeah, just thinking as I go. All right, so this is seatbelt straps. They are thinner um, and they are, again, same as the other. They have a finite end, so they're not a loose ended strap. Very adjustable though, look at this. So this little tiny bag, that little tag out of my way. Yeah. Anyways, so you put the bag on. Look how easy and look how much strap is available. I mean, yeah. Okay, it's a tiny bag on a big girl, but hello, it's so cute. It's so cute. I would totally wear that for just running around town to do my COVID errands, you know, like go to the grocery store and back. Where I don't want to touch anything I don't need to. Just put my phone and my wallet and some masks and gloves and sanitizer and psh, that's all you need, right? And, well, maybe some chapstick because it's dry, it's dry. Okay, enough about Harry Potter. Speaking of the vegan leather, I got two more items in it because once I felt it, it reminds me a lot of the sycamore leather from Vera Bradley, which I love. And, and I got that forever backpack. I started thinking, okay, I'm on a purse backpack thing, hands-free and all that. So I got the mini backpack 
And this is a noir, which is black, you know, noir, N-O-I-R. And it has rose gold. So it is very classy looking, I think. Again, it has that inlaid GGB right on the front. It's a very simple front pocket. There's your very light gray interior. That is the same interior with the same shapes. I don't know if you can see that very well again. Um, but that's the same as the plum pouches. So that's what made me think. I think that was the same one on the backpack I got before as well. So all of them have the same. Totally makes sense too. A nice light interior, simple pocket there. And then this has a carriage handle on the back, two nice straps. These are a little bit padded and plenty roomy. So again, let's do a quick, quick, quick fit check. It fits very nicely. Again, very generous total. Yeah, I think actually that looks really good. Not so much with my casual overalls because it's a fancy bag, but no. It does have that carriage handle. It does not have that um, hidden one like the back of the Forever backpack, but it doesn't need it because it has this. Inside the main pocket, which is a double zipper here. Oh, my zipper pulls all twisted back up. So double pocket, nothing on the front, but on the back, again, you have a privacy zipper pocket. Let's see how far that goes down. <laughs> it doesn't go down very far. It goes to about right here. Um, and then you have two elastic cargo pockets. And here is your look. Move straps. They're not flimsy. They're good, stiff, leathery kind of thing. Um, but there's the bottom of the bag. And you can see also the gusset from that front pocket here. So you've got quite a bit of space. Now, let's do a couple fit checks while we're here. You've got the Be Rich wallet. Mm. I think it doesn't really fit there. I mean, you could force it in there. I don't like to force things. Um, obviously this won't fit inside there, but let's look at, I wonder if the medium, yeah, no, it's way too wide. But certainly the small set piece will fit inside of there. And these patterns both, even though it's gold versus rose gold, I think I would totally do either of those pouches with this bag. Or I could do the plum, because the plum in black looks good too, I think. Okay, so let's do a fit check with the small set piece inside the pockets inside. Okay. Okay. So inside this zipper pocket, um, it will fit in there. You just have to maneuver it to get it through the zipper area. It fits really nicely, and I think if it was packed, it would still fit very nicely there. Probably not the first place I would put it personally. Then you have these two cargo pockets down below, and those perfectly fit that set piece as well. It's all the way down below the elastic, actually. Let's try the medium set piece, too. Okay. Okay, it has the straps in here. Oh, it's connected. Okay, so medium set piece. Obviously, it's not loaded, but let's see if it fits in here as well. Um, yeah, I think if you had it full, it would not fit but it does fit in there and that's how much it sticks out. So if you had it just partially loaded, you could certainly put two of those in there as well. It's up to you. Or if you just want to lay it down, yeah. We'll put all this back together. A small pouch, the other strap. Take the whole thing and guess what? This fits perfectly right in the bottom. Look at that. Very nice, very nice fit. In fact, let's see. E even if these were pretty full, you could fit them side by side on the bottom. So this bag's gonna hold quite a bit. I mean, that's a great test right there. So the large set piece would fit, I do not know, but I don't think the Be Quick would because these are like the perfect width for this bag and the Be Quick is a little bigger, so maybe, maybe not on that. But, so that's the mini backpack in the Vegan Leather Noir Rose, I don't know what they call that, Noir, just Noir, yeah. But in the same vein, we got a tote, oops. I got a tote. And this is the Everyday Tote in Noir. It does also have gold fittings, but these are gold, not rose gold. 
kind of inconsistent. You know how I like consistency of details. Uh, but honestly, I'm not a huge rose gold person, so I am perfectly happy with gold. I would have been just as happy with silver or rose, whatever. I bought it for the leather tote, not for the color of the thing. So just, just a detail thing. But it does have these nice rings on the strap, so they do lay flat when you're not using them. I really like that a lot. And these do say Jujube on the side of them, which is cool. Um, it has that same inlaid tag on it. This riveted section here that's got the seams, it looks like a pocket, but it isn't actually a slip pocket. It's totally closed. But there is this oh. zipper pocket right on the front. It's not organized, it's just a pocket. Same interior we saw before. But it goes pretty much to the bottom, like straight down. Um, so it's a nice pocket. And this is a rough metal zipper, if you will, but it actually is pretty smooth and it's, it's not a problem. It, it goes very nicely with this bag. Okay. These straps are just a double layer vegan leather, but then it has this section where the handle is. If you can see, it looks like it's got this extra piece sewn around it like that. So it gives it a little extra grab to it. On the back, it's very similar. Again, this section is not a pocket, but this part is obviously a pocket. And in here, this is a soft line pocket. And let me see how deep it goes. Like if it's wide enough for the wallet, it is. The wallet goes right to the top. Obviously not what it's intended for. But your glasses would fit there. My phone easily fits there. Um, phone and it actually comes up to about right there. So plenty of room for other things. And my phone also has about this much extra space, space laterally. So it's a generous size pocket. Let me see if it's like the backpack. Yep. So if you spill crumbs in there or something, you can turn it inside out. But it stays in pretty well, I think. So, All right. So other than that, before we go to the inside, it does have these loops on the end. These are great, obviously. Like for me, if I'm carrying a tote, um, I like to have my hand sanitizer on the front. I could put a bag charm on the back or whatever if I want. Um, I could put a coin, for whatever. I can hook things onto there and it's nice to have it right there. And other than that, let's go to the inside. So the top is a flap zipper closure. It does have the long tabbed end. So you can see this a little better this way. That you grab that, boy, it's all twisted up. Okay, so that can happen. <laughs> so you grab that tabbed end and of course, you just zip that closed and then there's your top closure. Um, what I've learned about these tabs is I really don't prefer them because it does take two hands to open and close them. But the thing about them is when you're not using them, because it gives you that extra slack, now you can just leave those top edges rolled down and it opens nice and wide. So already you can get a look at the organization in here. You have a nice big zipper pocket here and that does go almost to the bottom. It goes to about, I don't know if you can see this, hang on, about right there where my finger is. But all the way across, so that's pretty good size. You've got two large pockets back here. It has an elastic top, nice big pocket. So here's the large set piece. And those fit, let me see, perfectly right in that pocket. So you could fit two of those in there. Also, on the opposite side, you have two slip pockets that are gusseted, um, but also very large. And same thing on this side, it fits even easier because you don't have to fight the elastic. Yeah. So you could fit four set pieces just around the outside. Plus, you have, where to go? You have a key strap, which of course you can clip onto other things. You could clip it onto a small set piece. You can hang your pretty dangle on there, you can, whatever. I'm just scooping around, okay. So then you have, that's not all. It, you have, let me pull this out for a sec. On each end, you have a pocket here on the end of the bag, both sides. And this pocket has just a little bit of insulation to it and it's elastic. So you can put a water bottle or a bottle bottle, whatever you want. It does come with the changing pad or picnic mat or craft thing. And it is in that interior gray pattern. I don't know if you can see that. The lighting is just kind of weird. But you can kind of, there you can kind of see the pattern. 
Very subtle. But yeah, same as the interior of the bag. And this one is padded. <sighs> Under penalty of law, tag not to be removed except by consumer. Okay. 22 inch by 12 inch. There you go. So you can fold this up, you can put it in one of the pockets. I'm just gonna leave it inside for now in a slip pocket. And it also comes with a dust sleeve or a dust bag. So same as the backpack. I think it's the exact same bag, honestly. So that'll fit nicely in there. So looking at the bottom of the bag, look at this. It's a large bag. It has these really nice feet to stand on. It does have a little bit of structure to it, just by virtue of the materials, I think. It might get slouchier over time. I don't know. I'm not super familiar with vegan leather wear, but yeah, it's just really nice. I like it a lot. Now, one other thing that I got is I bought this woven strap. And I bought it because of my experience. Oh, sorry, my phone is going nuts. It's all my gal pals trying to coordinate for tomorrow or getting together at the park outside for coffee. Um, so it's a nice strap. It's a woven strap. They do come in like four or five different colors. Again, with the rewards, there is a strap exclusive to that or that you can get for free with that. But it's like 5,000 points and it only came, I think it was like gray and yellow. Not my thing, so I skipped it and just bought a regular strap. But it does have this vegan leather piece on the end where it says Jujubee and then it's gold fittings. I bought this as a generic neutral colors, black and gray, because like if I wanted a spare strap, I don't have to buy um, the messenger straps and all the different patterns that something like this, I'd maybe feel comfortable using with most of my stuff. And you could use it for unconventional things. For example, if I wanted to use it as a bigger bag strap on my little purse, you know what? Okay, if the zipper wasn't in the way, you could do what I want to say. But you could, you could use it on there too. And so that can make it a fun little change the bag up, like customize it to your own self. I'm not saying I would, I'm just saying you could. But, so this strap is very adjustable. It's got quite an extensive reach. This is not even all the way out. It's got a whole lot more to go. But you could use it with any bag you want. So the strap came by itself. Yeah, just a woven strap. GBG. I would have thought it said BGB, black, gray, black, but whatever, I don't know what that stands for. So, because it has the gold fittings, because it's black, it will fit perfectly, matching nicely, because it even has the vegan leather on here. So if I wanted to make my everyday tote into a crossbody or a different strap, guess what? I can do that, and here it is. So, even though it's a fancy leather bag, I could, I'm glad I got this color, this is so perfect. It's an accidental genius, there you go. So that is my crossbody tote option if I wanted. And that to me gives it such greater usability in my world, so there you go. And then the strap. And these straps, by the way, let me sit back down. These straps do have the swivels on them, so you don't have to worry about getting it all straight and hooking it up. You just hook it up and then swivel it the way you need it to go to straighten out. But very excited. And that concludes the Jujubee haul for today. I have some more things in the car, but they're going to have to wait. I have no more money. So until next month, maybe I have some other Vera coming and I have some vlog stuff. Anyways, more videos to come. Talk to you again soon. Bye for now. Washi washi.